So maybe you want to try out neural networks. Maybe you want to train neural networks and have a look at deep learning. Well, you can do so without installing any complicated software and only with a little bit of prior knowledge. You actually only need to register for a web service by Google called Google Colab, Google Collaboratory, and the other service is ChatGPT, which you probably know already. Google Colab is a web service offered by Google where you have to create an account with Google and then you're ready to go to create your first document, so-called notebook, enter your file name here and then try it out with a piece of simple code. This may take a little while because it's setting up the machine. Now we add some text using markup and we hit shift enter to execute this cell. So now we move this text cell on top of the code cell and we'll just create some more code cells and text cells like so. And of course, you can also delete them. So this is how you operate a Jupyter Notebook on Google Colab. Let's now move over to ChatGPT to first get and prepare some interesting data. CIFAR 10 is a data set consisting of 60,000 small images, each belonging to one of 10 classes. We also want to display one image example for each category. Now we want to try out our code. In Google Colab, we first insert some text, headlines, and now we copy over the code from ChatGPT into a coding cell and execute it. In the last line of this code snippet, the data is downloaded from a website and bound to four variables for training and test data. Let's have a look at the data. Xtrain contains all the images of the training data. That looks all right. The next piece of code displays 10 images from the training data, including the categories, so you get a feeling for the data. Finally, we normalize the feature vectors and map the labels to one hot vectors. So now we ask ChatGPT to actually create a neural network for this data. We call the neural network a model and we see here how different layers are added. Most importantly, convolutional layers, pooling layers and dense layers. We move over to Google Colab and paste in the code only for creating the model and we make it a little nicer. This is the way usually a human data scientist would lay out it. Now we adjust the epochs, which is the training duration to 40 to make it a little bit quicker. We shift this part of the code, which is the training below. And here we add a line for inspecting the model. And here you can see all the different layers and the number of parameters. Now we have the data, we have the model and we start training, which is the method called fit and you see it will run for 40 epochs. One epoch is a run through all the training data. Once training is finished on the training data, we want to know how the network performs on the test data. Only this line here is relevant. And so we paste it here and we see the value is 79% on the test data. For further analysis, it's sometimes good to look at the confusion matrix, which shows you which categories are confused with which other categories. Small mistake here, I pasted in some text, let's delete it. Now we see the matrix, the diagonal contains all the correct predictions. Let's have a look at the error cases. So those cases where confusion occurred, we generate some code, paste it in here. Okay, we have some mistakes. The class names must be pasted in here and then we can run again. And we see here layout is not perfect. Some of the images that have been wrongly classified. So this concludes our very quick journey where we used ChatGPT and Google Colab to load data, the data set CIFAR 10, prepare the data, create a neural network, train the network on this data, and evaluate the network's performance, achieving 79% on CIFAR 10, which is not bad, and even looking at some of the mistakes that the network makes. I hope this video helps you getting started with deep learning. See you in the next video.